Hi, I'm Dante Greco. And I'm Evie Matavalli. And this is the red carpet for Amazon Freebies. Free mall. For bionicbuzz.com. Check out. Okay, tell us your name and your character on the show. Hi, my name is Carlos Santos, and I play Uncle Ryan. I believe I heard that you were the funniest person on the set off camera. Is that true? That is true, and, and checks will be uh, mailed uh, for the, uh, for the act, uh, services rendered to let the word know that I am, in fact, the funniest. So I appreciate that it's working. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Is it, I can't tell you that. Exactly. You have to cut the check. No. Uh, is it kind of a prerequisite for an uncle to be funny? Uh, I think it's a uh, prerequisite for a fun uncle to be a uh, uh, mess up for not saying the right. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be a funkle, then I don't think you necessarily need to have your stuff together. So I think that's important. And I think that kind of, if you have your stuff together, you might not, you might be responsible. And that's not, that doesn't translate to fun or being funny. In my opinion, in my personal opinion. Is there a piece of advice that you maybe remember from when you were growing up from an uncle or someone similar to that that sticks out in your mind? Yeah. Uh, get out of the way. No. Um, from my uncle, I feel like I hung out with my, my dad's brother. I used to go to the movies a lot, and he was a funkle. He, was, he had a good time. He didn't, he didn't have a job, but... No, I'm kidding. He had a job. Um, I don't have anything... Uh, yeah, I don't think you go to uncles for, for uh, wise... Uh, right? What do you guys think? No, it's, it's very uncomfortable to do that. They're supposed to be fun. Right, 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 right. If you start to get serious, then I think you've missed the mark. I can't take, I can't take my uncle seriously, man. That's crazy. Uh, w one last thing. What was your favorite part about working on, on Primo, uh, collaborating with Shea Serrano, being with Amazon Freebie? Tell me all about it. Um, I think it was really, from the first day that I read the script, I was so excited because it was very well written. Shout out to the writers that are out here trying to make a, a, a living. Um, that immediately got me excited. Then I, found, then I found out it was Mike Schur, and then I found out about Shea Serrano. They just kept getting better and better. And then when I got to, to set in Albuquerque, we all, the cast met for the first time, and it was immediately great chemistry. I don't know if you know this. That's not the usual. That's not usually what happens. A lot of times people hate each other on the DL, and they got to pretend. We didn't have to pretend. We really uh, hit the ground running. We had a really a lot of fun. And one standout scene for me that I always in the Game Champ episode is the slapping scene. It was directed by Melissa Fumero, and I just had the blast just having uh, Christina uh, slap me around for, for a few hours. It was great. That's awesome. Where can people find you? You can find me at the pier uh, till 10 o'clock, and then after that, you can find me on Instagram at, of course, it's Carlos. Um, of course, it's Carlos. It's really, that's it. Of course it is. You can probably find most of all my socials with, of course, it's Carlos. Okay, uh, tell us your name and your character on the show. Okay. Do I look at you guys or you want me to look in the camera? Look at you. Okay. Hi, my name is Christina Vidal and I play Drea. Tell us about Drea. Drea is a, a single mom. Uh, sh like many other single moms, she's just juggling a million things, trying to keep her family together, trying to give her son a life that maybe she didn't have. Um, she's very, she's fiercely protective, fiercely supportive. Um, but she has this silly side to her, where you see that she's just like one of the guys. How did you get into this character, get into the mindset and all of that? Yeah, that's a good question. So, um, as I read more about her, she really reminded me of my mom, my tias, my older sister. And so, really, I, I kind of already knew her. She was, like, already in there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, being that you're portraying, you know, a, a dramatized version of someone's real life. Yeah. I did. I did. So in the very beginning, I, I remember calling Shay actually from a doctor's office. <laughs> and I was like, hey, so boom, boom. I just hit him with all these questions. I really want to make sure I do your mom just. He's like, he's like, look, we hired you because you've already got what we're looking for to fill this character. Now just run with it. I trust you. And it was so liberating. And he was supportive on set. He would give little ideas here and there but for the most part we really got to just live in the characters ourselves he really trusted us with that so oh my gosh yeah we just spoke today and he was like i sat in my office and i watched the whole thing he's like and i was like this is a good show <laughs> now listen the san antonio spurs just got the number one pick in the nba draft tell him he owes you some tickets what <laughs> <laughs> no way <laughs>
you. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll call him tonight. I'm sure he knows that. <laughs> yeah. Um, on Instagram, uh, Christina M. Vidal. And on Facebook, Christina Marie Vidal. And on Twitter, CV Dramatics with an X. All right. How you doing? Tell us your name and your character on the show. Sure. It's Efrain Villa, and I play Manda Gonzalez on Primo. Now, I saw your character was described as somewhat of a cosmic wanderer. Is that you? Did you bring that to the character? Tell me about that. So the wandering part is definitely very accurate. I spent a couple of years backpacking around the planet, South America, Southeast Asia, South Africa, East Africa. Um, so yes, the wandering part is very much a part of my internal DNA. There are other pieces that kind of contrast with my personal you know, upbringing and my, person, my personality as well. Um, I, can, I think I can spell a little better <laughs> than Mondo. <laughs> That's awesome. You brought a lot of yourself to the character. What was it like on set? How was the spirit? Was it fun? Was it like we got to get this done? Tell me about making the show. There, obviously, it's it's a lot of intensity because you have so many different moving parts making a show. It's a huge collaborative endeavor. It's a creative process. At the same time, there was so much joy in shooting. We all got along. Um, I think behind the scenes you would see a lot of the same family dynamics taking place where you always kind of find someone who you can use as a soundboard and bounce things off of. Love that. Did you have a lot of communication with Shea Serrano? A ton of communication with Shea Serrano. Shea was there from day one, actually pre-day one. He was part of the casting process. He's, he's got his fingerprint on every single element of the show. Is he going to take you to any Spurs games? Uh, we'll see. I haven't visited yet in San Antonio. So we'll see. Tell us your name and your character on the show. Uh, Henry Esteva, I play Mike. Uh, first of all, I see you got the Writers Guild on strike button, uh, supporting, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, of course. How fun was it to make this show primo? Like, what was the vibe like on set? We had a lot of fun. Um, we became friends really quickly, and it was uh, kind of became a labor of love. A bunch of friends making jokes all day. We had a great time. Tell me about your character on the show. Who is he? What's he like? So I play Mike. Mike's ex-military. He uh, he's the second youngest brother. Tries to like put some order into everything that's going on really poorly, and in trying to do so, usually creates more chaos. Do you have any military? Did you like go to boot camp or anything to prepare? No, no. Uh, at this point in Mike's life, he's just a recruitment officer. Um, so I'm I'm working an office job. So you didn't have to go like do some paintballing or something like that just to get into the headspace. There is no Mike Sure boot camp, but if there was. Awesome. Well, what do you? Uh, Primo is great. Every it's getting really good reviews. I'm sure it's exciting to be part of a show like this, right? Yeah, I'm excited, man. It's it's exciting. You know, we've got to work with a bunch of really great people, and like that in itself is exciting. And now. I haven't read the reviews, but I've been hearing about them. Uh, happy they sound good. Yeah. What do you got coming up next, and where can people find you? Uh, Primo on Friday, Amazon Freebie. Tell us your name and your character on the show. Uh, my name is Ignacio diaz Silverio, and I play Rafa Gonzalez. Okay, so you're the main character on the show. Um, how close are you to this character in real life? Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. Um... You know, there's probably some overlap in some ways that I'm aware of, maybe some ways I'm not. And there's certainly a lot of aspects of Rafa that are, you know, more far removed from my experience and maybe my personality. Uh, but, I mean, there's certainly a reason I booked it, I guess. <laughs> Do you have any real-life uncles who are now envious of your relationship with your on-screen uncle? <laughs> um, I have, so, so Rafa has, like, all uncles. I have, like, all aunts. Uh, so I don't have too many uncles, like, to be jealous of my fictional television uncles um i do have like a few uh but i haven't uh no they haven't expressed any envy so far they're just you know maybe secretively but as far as i know they're happy for me <laughs> i love that speaking of happy for you how what what kind of feedback did shay serrano give you on your portrayal shay was like really shay's just like our hype man you know like <laughs> every single day like before shooting our scenes like you know we do a, a quick little rehearsal where we just talk it and I don't think he'd even realize it or be conscious of this but he would just be standing watching being like oh man I love this scene I love I love this scene y'all are gonna kill it you're gonna kill this oh man like this is gonna be so funny this is so good 
And like that was just every day. He did that with every scene. And so to have someone like that enthusiastic about you and supporting you in that way and just like hyping you up constantly, it's hard not to feel like you're, you know, <laughs> like you're like you're just you're you're you know, you're 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 sort of like lifted up, you know. Uh, tell me uh, just real quick, what would be what do you want people to know about Primo if they're making a decision on whether to watch it? Um, that it's going to be your new favorite show. So, like, just stop, stop searching, stop scrolling. But why? Because it's hilarious, because uh, cause it melds, like, it melds absurdity um, and absurdist humor with, like, some really sort of grounded, like, heartfelt, um, you know, um... There's some real, there's some real emotional lives and like emotional arts in this show, despite the sort of like really out there, like bizarre, bizarre comedy of it. And and yeah, I think you really grow to like to love these characters uh, beyond just like having them be these these sort of like vessels of comedy. I think you really grow to care about them uh, in a in a deeper way. Love it. Uh, where can people find you? Uh, people can find me on Instagram. I'm not a big social media guy, so for now that's my only. <laughs> for now, that's my only platform at Ignacio Diaz Silverio. I'll be on there. Yeah. Tell us your name and your character on the show. Jonathan Medina and my character is Uncle Jay. <laughs> Uncle Jay, did you have any uncles that were like fun, crazy, whatever, growing up? Sure, I had <laughs> two uncles in particular, one on my mother's side and one on my father's side, and both of them were crazy and fun. Did you bring a lot of what you learned from them to this character? A lot of, of, a lot of my uncles, a lot of me, uh, and then I stole a lot from actors like Aubrey Plaza and Ron Swanson's character, and I, yeah, it's just uh, an amalgam of my experiences in my life, it's great. Do you find yourself now giving advice to people, sort of like an uncle? <laughs> Only the other uncles on set. Oh, you said it wrong. <laughs> Great. What was it like uh, working with Shea Serrano, like uh, collaborating with him at all? Did you have a lot of communication with him? Uh, tons. He was incredible as a showrunner, as a person, as a writer. Um, he was like an uncle to all of us on set. He was like a father, a brother. He did he did everything. He was oh, he was he was there with us every step of the way. I'm I'm wearing this pin about the writer strike specifically for that because he can't be here because of what's going on, and, and he's sorely missed. He's the heart and soul of the show. That's awesome. Uh, I love to hear that about him and about what you guys are doing, supporting. Um, what is something you would like people who maybe are on the fence about watching Primo to know about it that will draw them in? Jump over the fence. Just go over the fence. It's so fun. There's, there's heart, there's humor, there's family. It, it, there's nothing, I, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this show. It's a human show, it's about family first. Um, the fact that we happen to be Latino is, um, is just a part of, of the dynamic. It's a wonderful show and, and everyone's going to find something about themselves and their family inside the show. Tell us your name and your character on the show. Uh, I'm Johnny Ray Diaz and I play Roly. Roly. Now I've heard you're the wild uncle. It sounds like you have like the most fun character on the show. Is that true? I think we all have a little bit of fun, um, but I would say Roly is he is the wild card. You don't really know what's going to happen with him. He go he can go any direction at some points in the story, and he I would say he's sort of the most neutral of anybody there because everyone's pulling Primo in different directions. Roly's very much like, hey, just do what makes you happy. Uh -huh. Did you get to improv a lot on set? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it was really it was really great because uh, from the very beginning, like Shay really trusted us to that we knew our characters enough, that they had already provided us with such amazing writing that we, they, they really trusted us to kind of be free. And a lot of times we would improv, and sometimes it would make it into the, into the actual you know, final product. So it was really cool that we were able to do that. Was anybody a practical joker on the set? Practical joker. No, I would say that Carlos, though. Carlos is not a practical joker, but if anybody on set, I would say Carlos is the funniest. He was always, he's, he's always on. He's a stand-up comic, so he's like, there's always like an air of like, uh, there's a joke coming, which was great because it made it really fun to be there all the time. I'm gonna put him to the test when he comes by here. When he comes through here, you should hit him, ask him, be like, hey, tell me a joke, funny man. Tell me a joke, funny man. The worst thing you can ask a comedian. Hey. <laughs> no, I got it though. You should definitely do it. 
What's what's coming up next for you, and where can people find you on uh, social media? Uh, social media, Johnny Ray Diaz, and uh, next uh, shooting a film in Texas, uh, probably in about uh, like a month or so. That's pretty much it. But I just want to give a quick shout out to our writers on the on the show. We're going through a strike right now. I just want to say that without them, we wouldn't even be here. So yeah, I wish that they were here. We 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 dearly dearly miss them, and I hope that they all get a fair deal soon because it's crucial. Um, and this show wouldn't exist without them. Tell us your name and your character on the show. Uh, my name is Martin Martinez, and I play Miguel on, on Amazon Freebies Primo. Tell me about Miguel. Who is he? Take me deep inside Miguel. Miguel's like the smart aleck, and he's the instigator, kind of the troublemaker of the friend group, but he creates a really fun dynamic with the friends, and I think it's really exciting. How'd you guys build up the chemistry so that it would be believable on, uh, as, as actors? Uh, I think it, it came on a little bit easy. I mean, when we were doing scenes together, the writing was there. Thankfully, I mean, it's unfortunate that we couldn't have the writers here due to the strike, but um, they, they had that whole entire, like, character development so that it was easy for us to find that dialogue and that dynamic. And we really just had to let go and kind of let that mold create us. I love that. Um, being on Amazon Freebie, it lit it's starting to seem like the place where all the shows with a, with a lot of buzz are happening. Do you get that feeling, too? Yeah, I think so. I think it's um, it's the newer uh, it's the newer streaming service, and I think it's it's made some waves this year, definitely. What would you like people to know about Primo? Like to to someone say someone's flipping through the dials. What am I going to watch? Primo, tell them about it. Yeah, I think you should watch Primo because it's an easy watch. It's it's a thirty minute comedy, and there's so many characters that you can relate to. You can find so many uh, uh, places where you can you, you find relatability, and you can maybe get a second family. I think, and, and the adventures actually. There's some pretty crazy adventures in there that are really fun. So honestly, watch it. It's 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 blast. Love it. Where can people find you? They can find me on Instagram at I am Martin Martinez or Twitter at It's Morty Martin. How you doing? Tell us your name and your character on the show. I'm doing very well. My name is Mimi Fletcher, and I play Esther. Tell me about Esther. Take me inside her world. Uh, Esther is uh, something else. She has a really good sense of humor, and she doesn't let people get away with things. Drea tries her. She and Drea are best friends. So Drea tries her, but Esther's like, mm -mm -mm, nope, you're not getting away with this. So that'll come out in one of the episodes. Um, Drea is up to something, and Esther calls her out on it. So. Who do you think was the funniest cast member off camera during the making? Oh, gosh. Um, that's a really good question. I was not expecting that. Was it you? It could be you. It was not me. Um, I would say... Maybe one of maybe one of the guys, one of the younger guys. I think so. Yeah, I'm not sure which one. They're all equally funny. How cool is it doing a show for Amazon Freebie? It seems to be like the place where all the the cool like shows with a lot of buzz are happening right now, right? Yeah, this is this is so cool, and you know, it's like I I never expected that I would be on an Amazon Freebie show, but this is fantastic. And, and look, look, look where we're having our premiere. You know who does that? Amazon Freebie. Where can people find you next? At me. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were asking like my um, social media. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Where can people find you and and next? Uh, my social media is at Mimi Fletcher. That's Instagram. And next, I well, aside from Primo, um, I'm going to be recurring on an HBO show. I don't think I can name it yet. Thank you very much, Mimi. Thank you. Tell us your name and your character on the show. I'm doing well. I'm Nigel Siwabesi, and I play Harris on Primo. Now, you're like the best friend on the show, right? Did you hang out much with Shay Serrano to get a sense of what it's like to be his friend? <laughs> Shay's a very busy man, so I, I didn't. I took the next best thing, and I hung out with Ignacio. Right, who plays Rafa. Actually, all four of us were able to hang out a lot, which I think really comes through in the show. Our chemistry was was really easy to, to create. Are you guys still friends now? <laughs> it would be crazy if I said no, right? <laughs> no, we crazy. are, we are. I mean, Ignacio, he's he lives in New York, and ah. so the three of us, the rest of us, we, we are local, and so we do see each other. We just saw each other last night, actually, yeah. What was your favorite memory from making the show? So many, so many. I... Personally, if we're talking work, I like the carnival episode, you know, with us being at the carnival now. That was just a lot of fun. And yeah. to run around a carnival at night after it's closed is pretty crazy. But outside of that, being able to show my family when they came to visit, show them the set and all that stuff. And that was very sweet to me as well. Is there any like weird feeling of responsibility because you're telling a real story of some other guy's life? Yeah, I think 
everybody kind of felt a little inherent um, need to, to, to take more care, right? Because even though it is loosely based and it is a comedy and things ridiculous things happen, um, we they're at the core of it. There is the truth that it is Shay's life, and so yeah, I think everybody took extra precaution with that. Our writers, our cast, everybody. Love that. Where can people find you? You can find me at Nigel C. Webesi on Instagram. I will post more. I promise. I will. <laughs> How you doing? Tell us your name and your character on the show. Hi, my name is Takaya Lynn Washington, and I play the role of Maya. Tell me a little bit about Maya. Who is she? What does she do? Maya is a 16-year-old girl. She's new to the neighborhood with Rafa and his family and getting to know everybody. She goes to school with Rafa. She's in track, and she's just a ray of sunshine to be around. Love that. Is she? I read that he has uh, somebody he's got a crush on. Is that your character? He might. He might. <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. I got it. Um, what was it like being on the set? It was amazing. You know, it's great when you get to work with people who want to be there and put their best foot forward. And everybody just felt like family, and I think that's what helped with the chemistry on set. Was anybody, like, really funny or, like, any, like, a joker or anything on set? Uncle Jay was very funny to me. I don't know if that's just because we had most of our scenes together, but overall, all of the uncles are hilarious, and people will find different pieces of themselves and others and their family in them. That's amazing. Uh, where can people find you? People can find me on Instagram at the Stakaya, T H E S T A K I A H. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.